Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be doing an on-site job where we install Unify Protect in one access point to give this client Wi-Fi network access. A few weeks ago, my brother and I went to the site, which is Turkey Shoot, a microbrewery, and I asked the owners how they like their Google Nest cameras. Well, they have been having issues with them, so I said to myself, why don't I do a full installation for you for free, including the hardware, and it's the perfect time as the holidays are coming up. There's quite a lot of time lapse in this video as there was an electrical hum through the audio, so I didn't do a lot of talking in it. But at the end of the video, I'll show you the camera angles and I'll explain to you what I had done. If you'd like to support my channel, I do now have Ubiquity affiliate links that you could find down in the description below. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com and we do have a Discord server. Now let's get on with the install. All right, everybody, we're here at Turkey Shoot Brewing Company and we're gonna be installing some cameras from them today and one wireless access point. Uh, what we're gonna be doing on the inside only is putting two AI 360s and a couple G5 bullets. I'll take you inside and show you what it looks like. Okay, so inside the brewery, we're gonna be putting a AI 360 up here somewhere in the pan. Uh, we're gonna try to figure out where to mount it. Probably just have a conduit coming down. I did spray paint a couple black. And then going back towards here, this is where that little toolless mini rack's gonna go, just right above. There's power there, so we'll drop our cables in and down. And where these existing cameras are, we're gonna end up putting a G5 bullet going over towards the door. And then we'll end up putting another AI360 there. Okay, so we have Jay going on the ladder. He's gonna stay off of the top rung and he's putting on the conduit and we have a box there, electrical box. This is where one of the AI 360s are gonna go and the same at the other end. Uh, so yeah, watch him put it on and we did paint it all black.
We ended up hanging two AI360s by this conduit in the electrical box and I spray painted the boxes to match um, so it didn't stand out too much and be that silver. I'll go show you where the G5 bullet is. We mounted a G5 bullet so that it's pointing down towards the door and we have one more camera. And this is the last AI360 that we put up and it pretty much covers the whole bar. I will show you a few of the shots once I get back home. So we're all finished here at Turkey Shoot. We have our UDM Pro at top and then this is the Toolist Mini Rack. Uh, below that we have the Ubiquiti patch panel and we have these black keystone blanks. Uh, the switch that we're using is the USW 16 PoE. It only has eight PoE ports, but we only have four things that we're running here. So two AI cameras, a G5 camera, and a U6 Pro. On the end, we have the DAC cable, and then we have a couple of these unified blanks just to make it look good. And this is a staff door or the back door AI360, and we could see all of the brewing equipment here, and we could pretty much see the full business. Over to the left corner, Jay and I are standing here. This is previously recorded, but with this, we could still do the de-warp mode. So I'm going to press play, and then we'll look at de-warp. And this is one of the coolest features with these AI360 cameras. We could pretty much look at any angle that we want, and I'll just turn it around so that you could see my brother and I sitting up at the bar. This was at the end of the day after we were all finished and we were testing one of the new micro brews that they had, and it is really, really good. Now let's take a look at the AI360 at the front door. And this is the front door AI360, and this again is covering quite a bit. We could see their dartboard section, we could also see the bar, and then we could see back where they do the brewing. Let's press play and put it into de-warp mode. So this is giving us a great shot of the full business. We could turn it around and then we could see at the bar, we could see Jay and I, me wearing the Ubiquity hat, and then we could see the owner, Kyle, and we're all talking over one of their newest beers. What's really cool about Turkey Shoot, they do a whole bunch of different activities. So they have a dart league, they have metal nights, they have rap nights, they have board game nights, and a ton of different things. So if you're in the area, Go check them out. I will put their website down below. And this is the last camera that we installed and it was a G5 bullet just pointing towards their front door. We also do have a wireless access point in there and that is for just guest Wi-Fi network. Now just taking a look at the pictures, a couple things here that people have pointed out. Why didn't I just use a UDM SE instead of a 16 port switch? Well, we will be adding on to this network in the summer. We still have one other camera that we're gonna put on because they need a floodlight at the back as it gets pretty dark. So I'll be picking up the G5 Pro with the floodlight. In the summertime, they have a really nice patio which will put more cameras out as well as wireless access. Now for the mounting equipment of the cameras, all we used was standard metal conduit and an electrical box, but I spray painted it all black so that it would match in. Then we cut the conduit, put the box on, and we put the mount for the AI360. Now that was a really fun install to do, and I'm glad we were able to do it before the holiday season. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.